Welcome back to Inspiring Builds. I'm Dan and in this video I'm going to show you how to repair a leaking window. Window leaks during rain are often the result of poor window installation or improper home construction. So as a homeowner, stay on the lookout for water damage and warning signs to prevent costly future repairs. I inspected the construction and found missing mortar along with the stone that could have been added causing the water to leak in from the top during heavy rain. It's always a good idea to take a photo of the stone used during the build process if possible, so you can match it when replacing or adding stone. Measure the opening of the area, keeping in mind the space for the mortar joints. Select a stone as close as possible to the same size. I like these Milwaukee job site markers to mark the cut lines, as they're great to mark on anything. The ink dries quick, and it doesn't dry out quickly when the cap is left off. I will provide a link below, along with the other items used in this video. Grab a chisel and hammer. I use a four pound one. Identify the cut line and tap the chisel with the hammer all the way across the cut line to score a line. Do this a few times and patience is key here. If you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any of these tutorials. Grab a bag of mortar mix. I'm using Quickcrete Mortar Mix Type N. Type N or S is fine for this exterior work. Type N is meant for above grade and Type S is to be used at or below grade. With this being a small job, I grabbed a 5 gallon bucket and added water. Mortar mix can be hand mixed or machine mixed. Hand mixing is preferred on smaller jobs with using less than a bag. Slowly pour the contents of the bag into the mixing water. While this process is being knocked out, one water leak cause many homeowners overlook is the gutters as it may be as simple as unclogging them. Another is you want your house to be wrapped as many older homes may have straight OSB plywood. Not only is it important to wrap a house, but also to ensure the flashing layers are correct. A minimum of five minutes of mixing is required. Mix until a firm, workable consistency is achieved. The ideal mortar consistency has been achieved when a half inch thickness of mortar will not fall off your trowel when held in a near vertical position. If more water or mortar mix is needed, add small amounts at a time and continue to mix until the desired consistency is achieved. Dampen the back of the stone but do not saturate it. This prevents the stone from pulling moisture away from the mortar allowing it to dry naturally and with a stronger bond. Use a trowel to butter the back of the stone with a half inch to one inch layer of mortar. Lay the stone against the wall, pressing and rotating slightly forcing some of the mortar to squeeze out freely. Tape off the area you don't want mortar to get on as the eaf is here. Use a grout bag to grout the stone. Fill the grout bag, but not too much where it is overflowing at the top. Twist the end of the bag like a cake frosting bag so the grout doesn't come out. Squeeze the mortar out positioning the tip into each mortar joint and ensure the mortar gets applied all the way in the back to avoid any air pockets. You can also put mortar on your trowel and pack the mortar in. Test the mortar joints for when they're ready to be detailed and finished. Check that the mortar is thumbprint hard. The mortar joints are ready to be detailed and finished when the image of your thumbprint can be left in the mortar. When the mortar is too wet, it will not form a thumbprint and will just stick to the thumb. Brush the mortar joints. Ensure to lightly brush if using a firm bristle brush. Remove the tape and I waited a couple of weeks with heavy rain to ensure there are no more leaks. I use a blower to remove the last bit for a clean finish and not mark up the ephus. I really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, I have another one queued up for you in the corner that you'd probably like as well. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I release new videos.